Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock with an underperforming stock in a challenging market for Tesla and pretty much all car companies a firm reassurance may just be what most investors need to stay polished on the car company a reiteration of Tesla's potential and its capacity to be so much more in the future Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, and Ron Barron, a longtime Tesla executive, recently spoke with one other. Tesla may be headed towards being a very large firm in the future, according to Musk, who listed various reasons for this. Tesla excels at making cars and is paving the path for autonomy. Ron Barron and Elon Musk had the same idea, and Ron Barron added that Tesla might one day be the best automaker in the world, something that has never been done before. To find out why Tesla will perform better in the future, keep watching, but first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay informed about everything Tesla related. Many thanks Ron Barron, an American fund manager and Tesla investor, has reaffirmed his optimistic stance on the company. The CEO of one of Tesla's biggest investors, Barron Capital Management, is Barron. Musk said in the interview that Tesla is aiming to produce a more affordable vehicle. According to prior claims, this will most likely be a 20 to 35 smaller EV vehicle designed in China, a platform for human and robot-driven taxes would probably exist. Musk also reaffirmed Tesla's intention to build less expensive cars following the completion of the construction of the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck during the conference that followed the release of the company's financial results for the third quarter of 2022. Tesla has concentrated on creating a new platform for the upcoming iteration of electric vehicles, which will lower production costs and make electric vehicles more affordable. Musk claims that this new platform will be the foundation for a cheaper and smaller electric vehicle than the Model 3. In comparison to the Model 3 or Model Y, the platform aims to cut production costs by 50%. The requirement for labor and space inside the production facilities is also reduced. The new car should cost roughly $30,000, which is significantly more than the price of the Model 3, which is now resting at $55,000. The EBS will be Tesla's most affordable electric vehicle, according to Musk, who also stated that with this new platform Tesla intends to produce more cars than all other Tesla models combined. However, there is currently little information about when the EBS will start production. In Shanghai, Tesla has also reduced car costs. Recent reports state that the beginning price of the Model 3 sedan has been lowered by 5% to 265,900 Chinese odd equals or about 36,615. The price of the Model I sports utility vehicle was also reduced. The company was obliged to boost prices earlier this year in China and the US due to growing raw material costs. However, some of those price hikes have been somewhat offset by the price decrease for Tesla automobiles. Musk has acknowledged that Tesla is having difficulties as a result of increasing inflation rates that have increased the cost of the raw materials used to make Tesla automobiles. While this has remained a significant issue for Tesla, the automaker is attempting to regulate the supply of its raw materials. Due to its FSD software, Tesla is also probably going to crash severely. Just as Musk had promised for years, the business had formally increased the cost of its FSD package to $15,000 per year. According to Musk, Tesla will progressively keep raising the cost of its FSD package as capability advances and leads to the product's actual end form which is the ability to operate completely autonomously. Musk also discussed Tesla's Gigafactory autonomy, where he intends to construct an EVS that can operate for 50 to 60 hours per week, rather than 10 to 12 while increasing income. In an effort to cut costs, Tesla has stated that it has eliminated some components and procedures from its EVS. Tesla said in October that it would replace the US out of Tesla Vision and eliminate them from the Model 3 and Y cars. This strategy, according to Tesla, enables the autopilot high-definition spatial location, longer range sight, and the capacity to recognize and distinguish between things. The carmaker also said that with all of its features, as Tesla's potential increases, its occupancy network would continue to advance quickly over time. Tesla intends to reach a 50% growth rate in the future in 2020, according to Musk. The automaker indicated that it anticipates a 50% average yearly growth in vehicle deliveries over a multi-year period. The factory uptime, operational effectiveness, equipment capacity, and the strength and stability of the supply chain, among other factors, were also mentioned as influencing the rate of expansion. Musk, the $50 gross target, according to Tesla CFO Zachary Kirkin, is a multi-year average with some years experiencing quicker growth than others. 
the business is very unlikely to hit its 50 delivery gross target, according to Tesla production and delivery tracker Troy Tesla, but it is still likely to hit its 50 growth target. Deliveries from Tesla have been inconsistent for a time, but the business is making every effort to improve logistics so that it can deliver more vehicles. The carmaker is attempting to improve its raw material supply, and the emergence of EVS has led to an increase in the involvement of several automakers in the mining sector in order to get raw materials such as cobalt, lithium, and nickel that are required to produce batteries. On the Q3 2022 earnings call, Musk acknowledged that mining could become more of a limitation as Tesla raises vehicle production and scales to a 4680 battery assembly line, despite his previous preference to avoid entering the sector. When asked whether Tesla should vertically integrate into mining, Musk responded, We'll do what we have to do whatever the limiting factor is, we'll do it. We do not artificially constrain ourselves. We do not vertically integrate just for the sake of vertically integrating. If there were a great supplier who is better than Tesla, or even where the economics of comparative advantages suggest that Tesla should use that supplier, Tesla will use that supplier, and then it will use its resources. It needs to go on to say that if Tesla has to go mining, it will go mining. According to recent reports, Tesla and Glencoe discussed buying a share in the Swiss mining broker. One of the biggest trading companies in the world, Glencore also mines cobalt in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Tesla previously had an offtake agreement with the mining business for cobalt for Jiga Shanghai and Jiga Berlin in Australia and Canada. It appeared that Tesla and Glencoe had some sort of conversation beginning as early as last year, and the conversation persisted until Glen College President Gary Eagle visited Tesla's Vermont factory in March of this year. Tesla never considered investing in Glencore, according to Musk, who made this statement at a recent investor conference. It's unclear what led to the belief that Tesla was considering investing in the business, but discussions between Tesla and Glencore may have taken place as Tesla works to secure mining supplies. According to the automaker, Tesla is moving forward with plans to build a lithium refinery in the Texas Gulf Coast in an effort to gain more control over the supply chain of electric vehicle batteries. Tesla had to confirm this during a conference call while responding to a question about the company's progress in developing its new 46A deep battery cell technology. Elon Musk assessed lithium prices as being fairly expensive and added that businesses have been frequently urged to begin refining lithium in order to relieve supply chain bottlenecks of vital components used in lithium-ion batteries and to address Tesla's delivery issue. The automaker utilizes driverless trucks to deliver packages in terms of autonomy. Tesla is far in front and it will keep this monopoly for a very long time. In contrast to many of its rivals, Tesla also produces an EVS that is profitable. If Tesla is conducting a share repurchase, a low share price could actually be preferred rather than a high one. Musk claimed that Tesla might create a self-driving car that costs the stain to manufacture, but is five times as helpful when discussing a five-fold increase in the utility of Tesla vehicles. Do you believe Tesla will be successful in doing this? If so, it may enormously boost its revenue. Don't forget to share your opinion of Tesla in the comments section below. Go ahead and click the next video on your screen if you want to learn more about what Tesla has been up to recently. Hello there.